Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're at Disney Springs, and we're really hungry. We're looking forward to getting something to eat, and I think tonight, we're gonna try Pizza Ponte. Yeah. We're both pizza connoisseurs. We're pizza critics. We love a good slice, and we can tell you this, Pizza Ponte is really good. So we can't wait to share with you what they have to offer. So I think from here, we're gonna head to Pizza Ponte, then we might go to World of Disney, it's just, it, maybe we'll get a sweet treat. I don't know. But let's see where the night takes us. <laughs> All right, guys. Follow along with us. Let's go. Look at how excited this girl is. Largest slice of pizza at Disney Springs. Pizza Ponte offers seven basic slices that are available at any given time. We particularly like the, pe the pepperoni and the four cheese, and I think that's what we're gonna stick with tonight. They also make a parmacato that's really good, that has Italian ham on it. So if you're looking for something that's just a little bit unique and different, I'd suggest either the four cheese or the parmacato next time you stop by. If you wanna try something other than pizza, they do make sandwiches and salads. If you're a fan of bacon or like a salty Italian uh, ham, try the prosciutto, it's really good. I've never seen these before, but you can even get your own Pizza Ponte uh, travel mug. What did I tell you, folks? Look at the <laughs> size of these slices. That's my hand. It's pretty crazy. It's a, it's a lot Here's of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the meats. I'm excited. I can't wait to eat this. Garlic. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I've never seen uh, I've never seen that often. No, you would try it on there? Yeah, we could try it a little bit. So just to give you some more perspective, I mean look at this. <laughs> look at the size of this thing. They advertise it to be as big as your face. Yeah, they, they literally call this big as your face pizza. They, you can see the sign outside, but seriously, look at the size of this. That dough is really good. Like, at first it kind of tastes like a sourdough, but. So you can see like the bread and all the delicious layers of the cheese. So they have to literally put this on two paper plates. It's that big. I mean, it's crazy. It's like a, it's like a piece. It's like a mini pizza. It's like a mini pie. You know? It's a mini pizza pie. Four cheese or time. This is not the easiest thing to eat. I have learned that you're supposed to take your pizza and fold it in half and then eat it. Real Italian style. I think there's a good pizza sauce to cheese ratio. Yeah. And the sauce is very good. Like you need to taste the, like the fresh tomatoes in there. Overall, I give it a five out of five. Yeah, for both the pizza and the cheese bread. Well, it's not really cheese bread, but it looks like it. Um, the four cheese pizza. 
If you're coming from the north, Pizza Ponte offers both styles of pizza you're probably pretty much used to, which is like the north, the New York style pie, and also like a Sicilian square pizza or rectangle pizza. Both are really good. The dough, the dough is kind of a little more on the sourdough side. Yeah, I like that. So if you kind of like that airy crust, you like this. For Central Florida, I'm telling you, this is this is the best pizza. Right next to this, go to Italy, and it's via Napoli and in, in the Epcot and Epcot and the, in the Italy Pavilion. That's the next best pizza in all of the Walt Disney World. So, from a New Yorker, wanting New York pizza, this is your best option. But at the end of the day, you just want to have something that you're basically accustomed to, or something simple. Something quick that it just saves money and it's not cheeseburgers or chicken nuggets. Pizza is always a good go-to. Kids are going to love it. You probably like it too. And it's kind of hard to come by. I can't really say that the quick service restaurants and hotels make the best pizzas. So to find a place like Pizza Ponte here on Disney property is a rarity. If you're looking for pizza, I highly suggest come here and check this out. All right, Sinead, so we just had Pizza Ponte. <laughs> yes, and it was delicious. Was that not incredible? Yes. I think Seriously. my favorite part about the whole pizza is the cheese, the mozzarella cheese that they use. It's yeah. fresh, it's delicious. Yeah. And it's a really reasonable meal for Disney. And it's quick, it's yeah. quick. So like your pizza's already made, it's right there. Um, they'll heat it up in the oven for you and then come out and deliver it to you. Yeah. Uh, we wanted a pepperoni pizza and all they had was the cheese pizza. So what they did is they added some pepperonis on there for us and stuck it in the oven, heated it up so we could have a piece of uh, pepperoni pizza. Yeah. Very kind. Very it really sweet. was. And we just, like, we, we closed Pizza Ponte. We did. We shut yeah. that place down. We shut no. it down. <laughs> but the dough is also, it's like light and fluffy. Just It's not too thick. It's not too thin. We just really enjoy it. Yeah. And yeah. it has a good flavor and taste. Like. The dough, the sauce, the cheese, the meats. It's all very fresh. Yeah. And, and like we were saying, if you're looking for a New York style pizza, this is the closest you're going to find in Disney, for sure. If you're looking for a Tennessee style pizza, this is the closest you're going to find. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody compares pizza in Tennessee. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> I think you can tell behind me that we're getting a little close. It's getting exciting. You can tell that we're getting a little close to maybe a little sweet chop, a little sweet chop. <laughs> so I think, so I think you can tell by what's behind me that we're fairly close to a little sweet chop, and maybe also a certain world of Disney. <laughs> Just what we need. Just folks. what we need more stuff. Just what we need. <laughs> Why is it that they always make the best shirts for kids? I don't know. Oh, Chip and Dale. We need to be this for Halloween. Look at these brand new kids' backpacks. This is, a this is a really smart idea because they incorporated a plushie in with the backpack, so you kind of get a two for one. Yeah, I like that. Well, look at that. These are cute, though. Like, they're bigger. Yeah. And you know what I like best about coming to shop Disney? Is the music they play. And they play it really loud so you can like sing along and nobody hears you. I think I sing more in here 
I think if I had to work any store, I would work here just so I could sing all day. Kyle, if he worked here, would always get in trouble for playing with merchandise instead of putting it away. Da, 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 and I'd come over and watch, and they'd say, Shanae, you need to go fold shirts. And I would sing a song, I can fold you those shirts. I've already folded them 20,000 times today. And then they'd tell me, Donald class. Oh, look at this lady. See, I'd be just like her. Well, they really do have a fun time working in here at the store. I'm a member of the Big Noggin Club, and it's very hard for me to find hats. I can't say that this isn't the most 90s throwback hat ever, but I think it just might be. Or pretty darn close to it. But look at A Disney hat that actually fits my head. <laughs> like, this is incredible. What do, you, what do you think? Do you like it? I do like this hat, as 80s tastic as it is. Do, do, does it look or good? Or 90s tastic as it is. Does it look good? It, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Should we get it? I don't know. So, as you can see, all of these displays in this section right here are for Marvel. So just in case you weren't able to make it out to California due to the circumstances that we're all going through these days, Disney did make new merchandise available here for you in Florida. Just talked to a cast member. There is no Loki years. There hasn't been any Loki years. Like they basically, they came in and they were gone within the same day. So I look back now and we should have just bought them the day that they came out. So I'm kinda, I don't know why I'm on the hunt for these Loki years, but just the frenzy, I'm all caught up in it, so. <laughs> like they say, you always want what you can have. I just found brand new Indiana Jones magnets. These just came out. I think this was pretty appropriate too. I mean, Raiders of the Lost Ark just turned 40 the other day. But, I mean, you know I'm sort of a sucker for magnets, so I'm kind of on the fence. What do you think, Shanae? They're cute. Do, do we need more magnets? I, I don't think we do, but I feel like if there were appropriate magnets, just, just put it out there. You ready? Okay. What do you think of these bad boys? <laughs> Look at these brand new collectible figures I just found. This is really cool. These are brand, like, this is from the Empire Strikes Back. They also have a new hope. But they, I think these are the best. I, I looked at the other ones. This set right here is pretty awesome. So you can get the other box, which is the deluxe figure set. That's $24.99. But this is brand new. It's $17. $17.99. I think this is pretty good. I mean, I did get to get Han Solo Carbonite? Come on. Come on. Just left Walt Disney, and we saw the sign in there that said that Amaretz has a special Loki cake. We're gonna run in and try to see if we can get one. Does it sound good? Sounds delicious. So good.
So we found it, the Loki Moose Domes. Well guys, we had a really fun night tonight. Yeah, we got to eat some pizza from Pizza Ponte, check out some new merch, and we are gonna try out the new little Loki cake. Well, what is it really called though? It's a Loki Moose Dome. Ooh, a Moose Dome. Yeah. So we'll do a review when we get back, and that way you know what it looks like and what it tastes like. Yeah, well thanks for hanging out with us tonight. If you like the video, click like and subscribe so you'll stay tuned for our new videos that are coming out. Yeah, and we look forward to making these videos. And until next time, bye! bye. Trying a bite of the Loki Musto. It it's okay. It's okay. It's a uh, what was it? It had like lemon lemon chiffon or something in there. Yeah. It's okay. I don't know what I was expecting. What would you rate it out of? I think I would rate this like a at a five, mm -hmm. like a two and a half. I agree. I was yeah. It's, like I really want to like this, mm -hmm. but it's not the greatest. I want to say for roughly nine dollars, I would probably get something else. Yeah. Unfortunately, but I mean, like this is this is what's important. You got to try stuff at times. Mm -hmm. Just because Loki is on it doesn't mean that it's going to be good. <laughs> so, you, you know, you, some people like it, some people, uh, some people don't. I don't know. This one, I, I don't think I'd get it again. I mean, I'll we'll finish it. So, thank you. you kind of, hey, uh, 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 there we go. The little beaded pearls in there throw me off a little bit. I like have a crunch. See, I kind of like the little pearls. I just think that it doesn't have like a lot of flavor to it. So like with the mousse and the cake, it's almost like a tiramisu texture without the beaded pearls and the apple stuff. I like that. But it's nothing like the taste. Now the apples on yeah. their own yeah. are not bad. They're pretty good. I think it's like the lemon cake. Yeah, let me see your tongue. <laughs> I got a Loki tongue. We, we also tried one of the chocolate chip cookies that they had at Amaretz. So I just broke one in half. Let's uh, let's take it take a taste. This is better than the Loki Moose Dome. They're but, not a Mrs. T cookie. But I'm still gonna say this isn't the world's greatest cookie. For four dollars. I think it's one of those like again, I tried it. I don't think it's terrible. But I don't know, I don't think I'd get it again. I'm gonna be honest. I think for that amount of money, I would try the uh, Starbucks cookie. Yeah. Or the uh, Ghirardelli. Yeah. Mm. It's just me. So I don't think I'd get this again. But it was uh, it was good to try. I think I think it's a it's a decent cookie, but it's okay. Hey, hey, Shanae. Yeah. What does Mickey Mouse use to browse the web? What? An iPad Mini.